game day. The Plains, the Tigers, the ass whooping. Let's get to it, baby. Come on, let's go. <laughs> if we take an ass whooping today, the wheels completely fall off the bus. Yeah. We got our ass double handed to it last week. Lost to Bama. Now he needs some more save the job juice. So he's about to inject some with save Gus's job is a is a button on the wall in his office. And he pressed <laughs> And our offense, eight games in, is still a mystery. Our best player is not 100%. I'm not going to get excited about anything that I see from Bo Nix. I'm not shine pumping. Oh, I think he's turned the corner. Offensively, we look in the The depth isn't there. Right. He is out there on the field. I expect him to perform. Not I guess. expecting mediocrity is fine. I don't. I oh, don't. basically right. threw the ball directly to the safety. Yeah. Um, Auburn goes down to Texas A&M 31 to 20. Cut the check. Cut the check. Cut, Cut the, check. the check. He knew going into this year this defense was going to take a step back. I'm done. Rant over. Dion on defense because that goose was cooked at the beginning of the season when the roster was can we not recruit and develop somebody into being that one guy? That defensive backfield is one of the best defensive backfields that I've seen us have on the outside. That next week's show might be one of the most interesting that we've done going into Mississippi State, essentially foreshadowing the future of Auburn football. <laughs> <laughs> Click like and yeah, subscribe on the YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you are on these here Twitters and Instagrams, The War Report, and TikTok, of course. We are over there at TW Report, dropping y'all those top tens. Hey.